the Commons is just minutes away. We expect all but two West Country MPs to back Brexit. Those against are both from Labour, the party whip, Fangham Debonair, and fellow Bristol MP, Kerry McCarthy. But one other Labour MP and 28 Conservatives will support the government's bill. They argue that they're following the will of the West Country, which voted for leave last summer. The strongest call to go was in Bridgewater, from where Robin Markwell reports. If all this felt, well, so last summer, the British people have spoken and the answer is, we're out. The fact politicians were still talking about firing the starting gun for Brexit today left many here mystified. This is Bridgewater, a town known for its revolutionary spirit, a place where the buskers preach politics. A lovely man called Mr. Trump. Vote Leave really struck a chord here. 61% wanted out of the EU, more than anywhere else in the West. Now, they're getting restless. Well, I think they should hurry up and get on with it, to be perfectly honest. We voted to come out anyway, so um, whatever the case will be, will be, you know. Uh, yeah, just uh, would hurry up and get on with it. <laughs> it seems to be dragging now. they got to do it for us, OK? And if we vote out, they got to put us out. End of. End of, yeah. That is a view shared in the cafe around the corner. We had a vote, we voted, and now they're trying to get wiggle out of it. Yeah. I think they should um, carry on, and, and the country made this decision, and we should support it. Yeah. Yeah. Get on with it. In Westminster today, all but two West Country MPs heeded their call. There were those known Brexiteers in jubilant mood. All this bill does is implement that noble, brave, glorious decision the people made on that day of legend and song, the 23rd of June, in the year of our Lord, 2016. But also a procession of passionate Remainers having to change their tune. We have a duty as Democrats and fundamentally as members of Parliament to enact the result of the referendum. I feel duty bound, therefore, to recognise that I have to support Article 50 uh, this week. But I do so with a very, very heavy heart. The long wait for Brexit may soon be over. The process is due to start at the end of next month. The challenge for politicians now is to unite a country that still remains bitterly divided. Robin Markwell, BBC Points West in Bridgewater. Bristol voted.